Hello and welcome to Noble Tech. Today we're going to be looking at Tron cases. Now in particular we're going to be looking at their new ESP32 C5 case with SD card reader. Currently it's available on their Tindy store to purchase and it is absolutely beautiful as you can see on screen right now. So the original plan was to get a camera looking top down so you can see me having a look at this device but unfortunately the Elgato webcam I had chosen for that camera was a potato and uh, the footage did not look very good so instead I'm going to be doing handheld with my crappy phone uh, hopefully it will do these devices justice so as you can see on screen right now this is the Ghost ESP C5 uh, with the C5 in it and the SD card it is a wonderful device and I'm going to show you very shortly kind of what it is that you can do with it and how you use it this is a custom color that I ordered for myself it's burnt titanium green and black and as you can see it is absolutely gorgeous apologies for the focus there but you can see the detail on the side there go SDSP C5 can't have got my tongue there and as you can see, I don't know if the camera will quite pick this up, but there's his logo Tron. There's my hand covering it with shadow. There we go. You can just about see the uh, logo there. Absolutely beautiful case. And if you order and have no color customization needs, then this is the one that you'll get in an absolutely beautiful purple. So, Ghost ESP, what is it? Now, hopefully you can see on screen here, this is the website for Ghost ESP. So Ghost ESP is firmware that is written by, amongst numerous people, currently Decky, who also came up very quickly with the firmware to run on the C5. Now, the big thing about the C5 is that it's dual band. It can do 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi, as well as uh, Zigbee, amongst other Bluetooth communication protocols, and I believe it's running on Bluetooth 5. So... I'm not going to show you how to install it. Instead, I'll put a link in the description for the video made by none other than the creator himself, Decky, on how to install the firmware on the C5 and then how to get started on the serial console. But the serial console is here. This browser is not supported, unfortunately. I would need to use Edge for that. Firefox, not so great. So, as another tip, Make sure you use Chrome or Edge. Um, it won't work on any other web browser, I don't believe. And once you're here, you'll click Connect. And as long as your device is connected, it will allow you to choose that and continue on. But I'll show you that in another video. Now, going back to the devices. Just have a look there again. These are absolutely gorgeous. And, uh, yeah, you can do deauthing amongst many other things with this. I won't go into all the details, but you can scan for access points, scan for stations. You can do deauthentication tax, 2.4 and 5 gigahertz networks. It's not quite, but you can think of it as a, a tiny little portable Wi-Fi pineapple of a sort in its uh, current state as a serial connection. But hopefully... In the near future, we will get something more like... Bear with me a moment, I'll just go get it. I'll skip that with the magic of editing, uh, but something more like this. This is a Rabbit Labs Phantom running a ESP32 S2 or S3, I believe. It has Bluetooth and it has Wi-Fi. No GPS, unfortunately. I mean, you can add that yourself if you want to. But this kind of device with a C5 in it, that'll be good. Okay, so, just show it. What do you get? What do you get with the case? Well, with the case, you get the case, of course, and you get the SD card reader built in. So all you have to do is buy a C5, plug it in, install the firmware, close it up, and off you go. So it wasn't too long of a video today, but I would like to show you one more thing, if I just put these out of the way. Another little delightful device by Tron. Not currently available for sale, and I'm blocking it with the shadow there. But this is a 
BW16 Diorfa. This does 2.4 and 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi, as I said before. It has a little OLED screen, so you can plug it into a battery and just run it as is, or you can plug it into your phone or laptop or computer and run it via serial, which will give you more options. But this, again, is another beautiful case. See the Xtronics and the logo there, 5 gigahertz. Yeah, and this is also in black and uh, burnt titanium green. Absolutely beautiful. But going back to his web page, he also makes a plethora of cases for the absolutely excellent Rabbit Labs dev boards. Unfortunately, I don't have any to show you as I've not quite been able to get my hands on any of these yet other than the uh, Rabbit Labs Phantom, which I showed you there. And some of these cases are just absolutely beautiful. And for anyone of a Flipper Zero, you know, you can get the Ghost ESP uh, from Rabbit Labs uh, and then they get this beautiful case from Tron. Because obviously you don't want any exposed circuitry if you're going to be using this out and about. But he also makes a case for the Yapper board, the Gemini Dream, the Slim Shady IR Blaster, the Master Blaster, uh, a Master Blaster case with buttons, and a Super Serial USB-C to TTL uh, flipper board, uh, dev board, there was say not sure what that is i'll uh, come back to that one and this this case is beautiful this is the case for the evil crow rfv2 now the evil crow i imagine is a little bit like the hack rf1 h4m only a lot more complicated to use and a lot more capable in its specific role and this uh last but not least i'll bring this one up this I wish I'd have got one. I, when I first looked, they were available, but by the time I looked again, they had sold out. But if you've not heard of these, these are Black Hat uh, Flipper Board, uh, Flipper Zero Dev Boards, sorry. Um, but this one runs Linux, I believe. Uh, so quite the powerhouse. And Tron here, right off the bat, has made an absolutely stunning case to protect it. But not only that, He's come up with a case component. I mean, you'll have to add the screen, buy the screen separately and add that yourself. Uh, but you can add a screen rather beautifully and quite rugged and robustly by the looks of it there um, to this little um, case. As you can see there, this is without the screen. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, the size comparison there compared to the Flipper Zero. But yeah, for anyone who's uh, ordered the Black Hat, I thoroughly suggest this case, and as you can see, very reasonable prices uh, for all of his cases. Uh, absolutely, you know, I've looked around on Etsy and other places, and I've not seen, you know, good prices as these. Uh, but also, you know, I can show you right here. Um, the quality of these is top-notch, very robust. Um, I've tested this device thoroughly, and it works exactly as I want it to. And with this device, I've only just started using it. And there's a lot more I need to go into with this device as well, because um, I've not got much testing experience on the running it via serial side. So I need to dive deeper into that one. And then with this beautiful uh, device, you can also run it with uh, serial console here on the Ghost ESP website. And in the future, you should be able to order, I mean, this is a Ghost ESP case, and that's its primary goal there, and that's how the ST card works with. But I see no reason why you couldn't use this case if you're using the C5 with uh, the Marauder firmware. You uh, now run on the C5 as well. So anyway, that's enough from me. Take care, and until next time, bye-bye.